What's going on guys back again and today we are going to be doing the fiend twister now this deck is different from most decks that I make because this deck is basically one of those decks where you have to mill yourself. This deck is really cool, you guys. Um, I really like it a lot, but it does have a, a few problems. It, it does struggle against um, certain kind of decks, but basically it st struggles against a deck that can uh, outlast it. And basically this deck can make it all the way down to his last card, restart and then you got a few more turns after that to win. And if you can't get through the walls, then you're gonna hold the L. So the cool thing about this deck is that we're using um, Magical Merchant to mill our deck and put our cards in the grave. Magical Merchant says when you flip over, you can excavate the top of your deck and every spell card, I mean, every monster card you pull, you put it in the grave. Spell card you put in your hand and you stop. Um, basically, that's the main card of the deck. We're using Goki Pond here, one of their newer uh, card trader cards to uh, that says, when it's destroyed by battle, you can search your deck for one insect monster, look 1,500 attack or less. Meaning I can search out four-star Ladybug of Doom, Magical Merchant, um, and you can't search a copy of itself, I don't think. Um, well, no, you can search a copy of itself if you like. So, or a copy of itself. Uh, that's an earth insect. These are wind insects. This is the wind fiend. So, I'm running twin the desert twister. Desert twister says rem remove two wind, one earth. You can special summon from your hand and you can discard a card to destroy a spell or trap. And then I've got in the dark necrophere because all these cards are fiends except for the insects. And, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously you can see the combo. Now the cards that I'm using in here because we're using Magical Merchant, our spells and traps are very limited. So we're using Wonder Balloons to weaken monsters. We're using Skull Lair to destroy monsters. We have two copies of that because it, it is a game winning crucial card to this deck. And then we have Localized Tornado, which basically says shuffle all cards from your hand and graveyard to the deck and then draw nothing <laughs> so that's it um it's a pretty interesting deck the skill i'm using is tethered to defeat um it's not the best skill if i had a better skill i'd use it i'm still leveling up accord to see if he has anything else um i was told that he has some secret abilities but who knows now i haven't really played in gold rank three um it's pretty interesting to see what we're gonna get here um, with this deck, uh, this deck did not do well uh, the first time around. I tell you that. But these deck, but this deck does have very long games because this deck takes you all the way down to your last cards. Um, but we're about to get a rank up, but we're getting a rank up off of the Pegasus deck, and of course, um, I'm gonna go first. <laughs> but it's not bad going first. Okay, this is actually a pretty good open in hand because we like to start out with the Desert Twister in hand. But we got two now, so that's actually pretty good. So as long as we can get into our merchant and get into a skull lair, we'll be fine. I kind of don't like starting out with Goki Pond. I like starting out with Magical Merchant. Oh no! Not Dream Clown. Fuck. This is not good, because Dream Clown is gonna ruin all of our fun. This is the wrong deck. This is the wrong matchup. This is a bad matchup. Ooh, maybe not. We can force him to play the Dream Clown effect. So I'm sure he has like Desert Sunlight or whatever. Oh, just Mirror Wall? Wow. Okay, well yeah, they run Desert Sunlight and Mirror Wall. We might take an L on this one, actually. Because it's nothing we can really do against this, you know. Because unfortunately, we drew Goki Pond instead of Magical Merchant. That was our only shot to play the card. That was our only shot to play our game winning card. We're not going to be able to win this. Yeah, we're, we're pretty much done. Cause he can just change the defense and take out anything we play, so it's over. Um, I'll sit. I doubt that he'll just attack, attack. But if he did, that would be great. But I doubt he'll do it. 
Yeah, of course. Yeah, there it goes. Bang. <sighs> well, we might be able to summon Desert Twister if he... Oh, no, we're dead. We're gone. Oh, we would have been able to play Desert Twister, actually. That's unfortunate. Uh, if that Gokipon had been Karibo, we would have survived that. It's unfortunate, because um, the Dream Clown deck is a very effective deck against this. This is like, like there isn't really many counters to this deck, but a deck like the Dream Clown deck is definitely a counter. Like monsters who can blow things up on, by themselves for free. Yeah, um, that that's the bane to this deck. I didn't look at the name of the first guy, but this better not be the same guy. I'd be really pissed. I'm not even really upset about that last loss because it's kind of like happens. But if we had to open like this, we might have done a little bit better. Well, this is what I'm looking for when I play this kind of deck. Okay, you see this? This is what we're supposed to get. We're supposed to draw cards like these, okay? Now, hopefully, we don't lose all our Desert Twisters and stuff. <laughs> and, we, and we just we lose maybe one or two and draw into the last one. That's why we run three. I'm just praying to God this man doesn't summon like a Sasuke. Okay, Bazu. I kind of wish I set my... Uh... Dang. I'm kind of wishing I set this. <laughs> Because he's really overextended. I really should have set the four star. But I really want to do this though. I've got this in the back. He's really overextended here. You with a monster. Nobody beats Bandit Keith. Nobody. And he's talking shit. <laughs> you can do less than nothing. Exactly. This man's talking shit, doesn't even understand what he's talking about. Nobody beats Bandit Keith. You're about to lose. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this is going to be really good if we can... Dang, we lost Necrofear. Dang, we lost the second Twister. All right. We're about to get our... We're about to get that next Desert Twister. He's going to get drawn. This is great. And we're not gonna play Skull Lair to destroy his monsters. We're gonna use the four star ladybug. So we're gonna take this damage. Boy. Yep, I knew we were gonna draw into that twister. Alright, so we lost the Necrofear, but we're gonna get it back though. Um special summon. I'll banish one, two, two wind monsters, and one earth monster to summon the Desert Twister! What you got for this boy? He's looking at it like, fuck. <laughs> What you got for me, boy? What a twist! What a twist! What a twist! That's fine. What are you gonna do? You gonna take control of it. Ah! <laughs> Oh, no, no, he wasn't. He's going to change the defense. Never mind. <laughs> oh, well, I don't care. Oh, no, is he going to scoop? Don't scoop, bro. Come on. Don't don't quit. Don't quit. Come on, man. I got a show here to run. I'm trying to show people how this deck works. Oh, don't give up, man. I'm trying to show him a twist. Uh, I was going to twist it up for you boys. We had 10 cards in the graveyard. We were going to twist some shit on up. Uh, oh, well. Guess we can't twist some shit on up this morning. Uh, apparently, these guys like to run and quit because, uh, you know, they don't want to take an L. 
I mean, you have to. I mean, at, at G3 and G4, I mean, you got to learn how to hold a fucking L. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you can't be this high a level and be a punk about it. You got to know how to hold an L. Like, that's all I got to say. Like, you should not be rage quitting at this high level. Um, hopefully we get a rank up on this. This would be perfect to get a rank up on this deck. Dang it. And this is probably Destiny Draw Yugi, so we'll be all right. Hopefully we can just get into this merchant as fast as possible. He just summons a Neo to Magic Swordsman, attack it. I go get merchant, he goes summons another Neo, attack it again, you know what I'm saying? Just get right in the merchant, get right in the game. But uh, unfortunately, oh, good, 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 good. Can we top deck a merchant? Merchant, 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 da -do. Okay, that's fine, I'll take a twister. And I won't set any more cards because I can't afford to let my field get clogged up. We don't run any tributes. I feel like I should try to run a tribute, but I really don't because, um, I, I, you know, it's a tribute monster. I can't special summon it. Oh, this must. Oh, this is gonna be lame because this might be Grave Keepers, and I might just end up decking him out. If he makes me wait on these cards, I'll have the most ridiculous hand. I can explode on him. So a lot of people make that mistake against this deck. They just don't come over here and try to kill me. The funny thing about this deck is you have to try to defeat me, like, early. But trying to defeat me early normally leads to me summoning my ultimate card. No! Uh, that card destroys back row regardless, I think. Let me activate. I think he destroyed the face down or face up. It doesn't matter. He's going to come over here to attack now. Yeah, it destroys it regardless. Yeah, I'm fucked. Aw, oh, man. So I'll have to wait until I get the next one. But you really kind of don't need Skull Lair. Like, Skull Lair is nice, but you don't really need it 100%. Yeah, I knew it was that. Yeah, I knew it was Gravekeepers. I thought he had a, a, a recruiter down, though. It's a little more aggressive Let's than that. I attack with a monster. Hold on. My monster effect activates. All right, so I gotta go get Magical Merchant. We need to get that Karibo ASAP because we're in trouble now. We have three Let's monsters on the board. This deck always loses if your opponent can swarm up. All right, so we got four star, we got Karibo. If we drew a, a Wonder Balloons, that's actually, like that would actually be clutch if we drew Wonder Balloons. We're in a we're in a very, very bad spot right now. Of course, it's not Wonder Balloons. Um, we're gonna lose, cause he's gonna sacrifice for that, for that uh, one Gravekeeper guy. He's gonna sacrifice for the big gravekeeper guy. We're gonna we're gonna take the L. Cause he's gonna destroy the, our set card. Uh so yeah. That's why oh no, he's not even gonna do that. We're not even gonna get the honor of that. Let's see if Karibo is anywhere in sight. Oh there it was, just two cards down. Wow. Okay, well we're gonna take this L now. Oh, and there's that wonder balloons we needed. Alright, go ahead and kill us. We're ready. Take us down. Finish me. Finish me with your grave keepers. Hurry up. What you waiting on? I don't have anything in hand. I mean, on the field. Finish me. Thank you. Yeah, bastard. <laughs> I am salty about that because I I hate opening up with Goki Pine and you don't have the damn uh, magical merchant. Like I feel so cheated. Like if I had magical merchant in hand, I would have been able to come back on that game. I would have lost sufficient cards. That's why I kind of don't like this deck. I like, I like it. I really do. But then I kind of don't like it only because it's, it works only half the time. Like I'm pretty sure we'll get this win, but it only works half the time. Oh, well, it depends on how this Rex plays. 
I've been playing some Rexes that don't really play like Rex. Like, they play cards like they should be playing the Bandit Keith deck. And I'm like, just play Bandit Keith. Like, why play Rex? And I hate setting Merchant with no spells and traps in hand. Because a top card could be Skull Lair. And that pisses me off to no end. So I'm just praying to God that it's not. I summon a monster in attack position. One, two, come on, two wins. Ooh, let me get an earth, let me get an earth. Fuck. Dang. Dang! All we needed was an earth. Oh, I can play tether to defeat, and I might get one. Ooh. Ooh! Oh, I, oh, okay, wait, let me double check. I need, all right. Wanda Balloon. Beta continuous spell. I have beta continuous spell. Boy. Set. 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 We need that Earth Monster, boys. We need the Earth Monster. And the, and the reason why I set is because I want to make sure that, like, you know, what's that, Twister? Twist that shit on up. Oh, extermination? Oh, hell no. Nah. Boy, we chaining that. Um, uh, no. Don't you ever try to exterminate my continuous trap. It's continuous. That's right. You end your turn, boy. You in that turn. Get ready. Get ready. Summon a monster in attack position. <laughs> Battle. <laughs> Got this equip. Come. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Take your 50. <laughs> uh, this is going to be great. Please let me get an earth monster. Oh, what bad luck. <laughs> Come on. The one time I just need an earth monster. Fuck it. Make them weaker and weaker. Yes. All right. I need to get, if if I attack, I need to get his uh, the Jerry Beans Man attack points below half before I attack. Because if he has Mirror Wall, Mirror Wall can still kill me. So I need to get it below half of his normal attack. It's like 850. So one more of these. Here I go. I summon a monster in attack position. That's fine. <laughs> Your electro can't lock anything down. I activate a quick play spell. Uh two back. Ha! My continuous trap. One, two. Uh three. Boy! <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> what do you think was gonna happen? <laughs> da -da! There it is. Boy. All right. Die. I attacked you with a monster. Die. Your mirror wall can't save you, boy. It can't save you. <laughs> Attack my beast. <laughs> you can't stop me with your weak mirror wall. My monster has too many attack points. Nani. That's fine. That's fine. You can keep your monsters alive with windstorms all you want. Because they won't survive my skull layer. 
And then if he gets a card to destroy back row, he has to choose between Skrull Lair and Wonder Balloons. He's gonna pick Wonder Balloons. But then uh, Skrull Lair is still there, so. <laughs> but next turn, we're about to twist that back row on up. Well, no, we're gonna twist that field spell on up. Then we're gonna twist up his life points. That's what we're gonna do. Next turn, we're gonna win. Well, next turn, we're gonna play the cards that's gonna assure our victory. How about that? Well, let me do, you can do less than nothing. Where's that? <laughs> I attack with crawling dragon number oh two. well he doesn't have rising energy what could he possibly have he would have to have let's see reinforcements to put it to 15 that's not enough rising energy yeah he doesn't have anything nothing goes up that much oh metal morph uh i'm i'm dumb i forgot about metal morph <laughs> that's fine though 850, I'll definitely take it. Give it to me, boy. Ah! 850! Ah! 700! <laughs> uh, do you even realize that now you are in my dank dimension? I draw! Hmm. Now I have time. I offer up two wind monsters. And an earth as a tribute to summon the ultimate twist. M. Night Shyamalan, come forth. I meant Desert Twister. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> discarding to destroy. <laughs> battle time. Die. Twist that shit on up. And we got three monsters left to kill a beansman if we have to. Thought you sure y'all. What do you got for me, boy? If it's top deck for Ryoku, I'll be so enraged. But I doubt it is, though. But <laughs> if it was, I would have been. Ah! That is not fair. Draw. Fuck! Oh my god. Oh my god. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. There's only one card left in my deck that I can draw. And I have to draw it right now. I must believe. I Yami Bakura. Heart of the Cards! Dark Necrophia! No! Fuck. Ah! Fuck 
man. That's bullshit. Oh my god. Damn it. Get ready. I summon a fucking luck sack and piece of shit. I cannot believe. Just kill me, bro. Just end my fucking life right now. Just end it. Oh, you did get the, No, you don't even get the joy of playing that, boy. Trap Ox Duel. Fuck you. This guy. This guy. I'm gonna put all that shit back. Fuck you. I'm gonna put all of it back. Fuck you. Now kill me. <sighs> Who does that, man? Who rips Ryoku? Just kill me, bro! Oh my god. Who rips Ryoku? When I'm when I'm missing the one when I'm missing one monster to stop it with Skull Lair. Who gets Ryoku? Wow, that is the most insane shit I've ever seen in my life. Alright guys, we're gonna have to end this on the salty note. I got fucked. <laughs> by this by this deck basically unfortunately um it just I, I really like this deck it's really fun but it it loses to stuff like that people top deck and ryoku at the last minute but um unfortunately there's no real way to counter it because the deck is random because you're throwing cards from the top of the deck to the grave to get off effects of monsters me per personally i do not like random card effects but yeah this is a long one guys i know but yeah, as you can see, this deck takes the heftiest of L's uh, because it's inconsistent, because it is truly random at heart. A good fun deck, but I don't think it's got what it takes to make it the king of games. But let me know what you think about this deck below. And until next time, boys, send me some uh, medicine because my eyes are still puffy as fuck. But <laughs> until I get better, keep it good.